yeah hello everyone so in previous class uh, we are discussed about uh, inserting data with the help of uh, jpa and mysql right so spring boot jpa with my with uh, mysql so we have created uh, i think two apis right so find employee and create employee so let me test those two apis let me start the server So on, on top of the Eclipse, you can see there is icon, right? So you can click on that. So your server will start successfully. So now, so whenever you restart the server, uh, who will create the employee table? Employee table is created by JPA. So depends on the, the properties file which we have configured, right? So you can see application.properties. So we have given spring.jpa.hypernet.ddl-auto. So the moment you have add this property in application.properties file, so new table is being created in your database. So let me open the database. So SQL client I'm opening. If you see employee database, there is a table created. You can see employee table is created, right? So now, so before uh, testing this application, so in background, right? So the moment uh, you start the server in background, so table is being created, right? So if you want to see the table, whether it is a house JP is going to create, so what you need to do? You have to enable the property, right? So let me stop the server. So which property you have to enable? spring dot jpa dot show iphone sql property equal to spring dot jpa dot show hyphen sql so the moment you add this property so whenever you start the server you can see table is created in database so on uh, the statement which is uh, generated by JPA, so create statement you can see, right? So let you can see here. Are you able to see my screen? So the moment you start the server, so table SQL statement to create the table, it is generated by JPA. So internally JPA is created this SQL query. So this uh, statement is not in visible format, right? So it is not, it is a one line of statement. It is not able to, we, we can't able to read properly. So what we can do, we can format this uh, generated SQL also. So how we can format? So there is a, in Hibernate, there is a property called, so let me write it here. You have to add this property in application.properties to format the generated SQL in console. Okay, spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot format underscore SQL equal true. So the moment you let me clear the console, the moment you enable this property, uh, whenever you restart the server, so the uh, JPA will generate a uh, your table right so the table structure will be uh, proper 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 structure is being displayed in the console so you can read properly so let me save this file so the moment you save this file server will restart automatically you can see now see how it is generated now so this is the this is the structure you can uh, easily read this structure right so create a table employee so now you can able to read properly the generated SQL by JPA. So you can see, so what create will, uh, what create uh, value will perform. So this property, whenever you are giving value as create, then uh, the moment you start the server, it will generate the table. So what will happen? It will create the table. Uh, first it will drop, if it is a present, it will drop the table and then it will create new table. So your table is created. You can go and check in our database, right click and refresh the object repository. You can see table is created, right? So now let me 
discuss on uh, let me discuss about spring dot gpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto i want to explain in depth actually so let me open one pdf file on our document i have created for you i will share this document to you so you can read it so spring dot gpa dot hibernate dot ddl is called auto property is used to generate the table in database automatically so jpa will generate the table automatically the moment you enable this property so this property is having list of possible options what are those create create only drop validate update create drop and none so by default whenever you are generating a spring boot application by default spring dot gpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto property by default it is none so what does it mean so it, table will not generate actually so i want to show show that actually so okay now we'll go step by step i will explain you each uh, value how it is going to perform okay so now let me show you go open the console so as of now we have this table is generated right employee table i want to delete this now how we can delete right click more database operation drop database so i want to generate this sequence also now there is no table created in employee db right so let me disable this property so i am disabling ddl auto property so if you check the console create table you can see you can see, if you see the console create table sql statement is not generated so now go to your database and refresh the repository so now you can see there is no table generated table is not there what does it mean so spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl life and auto property by default it will uh, it is disabled with the help of none n o n e none so by what is the default value for uh, ddl auto property none so it will uh, it will not generate the table by default so if you want to create the table dynamically what are all the entities are available in your project if you want to create the table dynamically so you have to enable this property by yourself so how you can enable by adding this property in application dot property so now I, I will just clear the console and then enable it just save the file so our application all restart automatically right so now you can see the moment you enabled table is created so first what uh, create value is doing we'll discuss one by one so create actually it creates the schema destroying previous data what does it mean it creates the schema destroying previous data so let me show you that so now uh, table is uh, generated right so you can see go and check in our database just uh, right click and refresh object browser and you can see table is created now i want to create uh, i want to create the employee okay so let me invoke our restful api from where we can invoke so let me open talent api so create employee so what is the api we have created to insert employee data we have created in previous lecture we have created create employee api right so i am copying this employee api and then go to object uh, go to your rest line and then paste it here and what is the http request method to insert the data http request uh, method should be post and as part of the post request we need to pass the input so how you can determine what kind of input you have to pass go to your model object so entity object so employee right so here we have one two three four five so we have five properties here so these five properties you need to pass if you want to insert the data right so let me send the request so i have added already first name last name mobile number email so 
ID I am not passing. So let me pass that ID also. As of now, I want to pass the ID as well. So employee ID one, I am going to send the request now. Open the console, clear the console. So you can watch what is happening in background after sending the request. I just send the request. You can check the response. See, you can see the response, right? So employee, we got the response. The employee is created in database. We got the success response. How you can decide? So we got 200 successful response. And also we got the JSON response, which is uh, the employee who is inserted in database. So Sachin Tendulkar, I have inserted in database. So now you can go to your uh, SQL yoke, just refresh it, okay? So now you can see, you can open the table, employee table, right click on it and just click on open. So you can see employee is inserted. Employee one is inserted. Sachin Tendulkar is inserted successfully. So now we are talking about DDL auto value create. So employee is created now, right? So now what will what does it mean? What is the purpose of this create? It will create the schema and destroying the previous data. So now we have insert the inserted the data, right? So if you stop the server, what will happen? Let's see. If you stop the server, this is Eclipse issue. You don't need to bother about it. The alert which is coming, you can ignore it, guys. So I just start the stop the server. So server, okay. So now go to database. Just refresh. You have one record and table, right? You have one record and table. So now I am going to start the server again. The server started and you can see that create value is ddl auto value create is performing if table is present then it is uh, first it will drop the table drop in the sense it will delete the table from the database and then it will create a new table so if you open and uh, open your sql yoke and just click on refresh button you can see here if you refresh you can see there is no data available. If you observe, there is no data present. So what will happen? So if you uh, if you uh, DDL auto property, if you specify with the create uh, value, so it will always uh, delete that delete delete that table and it will create a new table. So whatever data present in the database, it will clear the data. So you will, you will lose the data. So practically you saw, right? So earlier we have inserted one record. After that, I just started the server. The moment I started the server again, so it is dropping the existing table and then creating the new table. So what will ha what is happening here? So you lost the data which you have inserted. So that is the... Uh, that is how create value will perform. Okay, so now let's talk about create only. So there is a, another feature, another value called create only as part of DDL auto property. So let me change create to create only. Now go to go back to your application.properties file. Let me clear the console and application.properties. So create hyphen only. So I, I just clear the console and now save. Just save that file. So server is started. You can see table employee already exists. So what does it mean? Create only in the sense what will happen? It will not delete the table from the database. So earlier, earlier this create value what is doing if uh, already inserted what it is performing it is deleting the table and creating creating the new table so whereas create type and only value is performing it is not deleting the table it is checking it is checking if it is table is present it will not create so now that's the reason it is showing the exception you can see create table so earlier we have created two times right so you can see create table. it is trying to create the table 
what is happening that this property this property is performing to try to create the table during the server start stop up uh, startup so that time it is throwing exception what does that exception so error executing ddl statement create table so jpa is generated a create table statement but it is throwing an exception why because employee table already exists you can see table employee already exists so that is how this create iphone only value will perform the respective operation it will not drop the database uh, so it, it will it will always try to create the table this value always try to create the table in database so now what is happening so we already have the table in database earlier we have created the employee table right uh, so generated by jpa with the help of create property so since the employee table is available uh, it is throwing exception because because employee table is already exist so now what, what i will do i will delete that uh, table from the database again let me delete it by guys you have to learn in depth concepts okay so you have to concentrate on you have to concentrate carefully okay so now most of the people will ask you in interview okay so now i have deleted this property so uh, table employee table now go to uh, again go to your eclipse read only right so now i am going to stop the server and start the server so whenever you start the server so this property jpa will perform the database operation based on this property so now uh, let me start the server what will happen let's see so before that you can see there is no table available in our database you can see there is no table available right so i just uh, right click and refresh the object browser and check there is no table available right so now what i will do let me start the server so you can see application property is having create only value ddl auto property is having create only let me start the server maximize the console you can see in background create table employee is created successfully so there is no exception in console right so why because in database earlier this employee table is not available we can see employee table is not available so this read only value will perform always try to create the table in database since there is no table available in our database it is successfully able to jp is successfully able to create the table in database you can see employee table is created right so now you have you learn the difference what is the use of create and create only so create uh, create will what create will perform so it will drop the database and it will create the new table so whenever there is already inserted data you will lost the data okay so create only it will always create the try to create the table if table is not present then uh, it will create the new table if it is crable is present then uh, your jpa will throw exception saying that table is already exist now we'll see validate so what validate will perform you can see validate the schema makes no changes to the database so it will not do any changes in database this validate property value will not perform any database operation only it will just validate whether table is present or not that's it so let me check now validate what will perform so go there go to your application or properties and just change it to let me clear the console and before that uh, so okay let me uh, it's not copied properly so let me type validate now just save that file so you can see 
so in console there is a there is no database operations nothing is there you can see there is no database operations there is no sql uh, schema generated this is internal it will only check whether uh, that table is present or not so now what will happen what will do now i will delete this table okay i have deleted the employee table so you can refresh the object repository so you can see in employee there is no table available i have deleted it right so now let me stop the server and start the server server stopped successfully and now so now ddl auto is uh, declared with validate value right so we are talking about third one validate so what validate will do it will always validate the schema and makes no changes to the database so let me start the server with that property that value yes successfully exception came so you can see what validator is validate is performing it is trying to check whether employee table is present in database you can see schema validation missing table employee so this validate always try to check the uh, the the entities which are present in your uh, project so as of now we have only employee entity right as of now in our project we have only employee entity so uh, this validate method whenever you declared with uh, ddl auto validate so what uh, during the server startup what it is checking the uh, it is checking based on the what are all the entities which are defined in your project it, is, it will check whether employee table present in database or not so if you open in our uh, object repository in uh, sql yog you can see refresh so there is no table available so it is validated so since there is no table it is clearly throwing exception there you can see uh, missing table schema validation missing table employee it is throwing exception you can see it is clearly throwing entity manager not able to create internally repository yesterday i told you right so yeah, we are using jpa repository right so jpa repository internally uses entity manager only entity manager factory okay so now let me create the table so how we can create the table how can we avoid that exception we just need to write create that's it so now let me start the server again so after that i will change i will change it to validate again now you can see table is created successfully Oh, uh, because I have given create prop create value as part of DDL property, I have given it employees created. So that is how a validate uh, value will perform. Okay, so you got the right. It will always validate this validate always validate the schema may uh, makes no changes in the database. It will not perform any data manipulation operations in database. It will always check the whether schema is present or not schema nothing but your table okay so now next we'll talk about update value so update let's let's see what update will perform so go back to your uh, eclipse and change the property uh, ddl auto to update value now server is restarted you can see there is no nothing there is no sql query generated so what i will do let me clear again i will stop the server so that you can easily understand with uh, update property so i have ddl auto as given as update uh, value and then i am starting the server so before that before that you can check so there is a already table is available right click and refresh object repository there is table already available 
so you can see there is no sql statement generated create statement or update nothing it is not generated anything so what does that mean you can see update the schema it will always try to update the schema if any changes are available so okay so since uh, table is already ready so it is not uh, creating any update statement so now i want to check whether really this property is updating table or not so how we can perform go to your employee entity so here i want to add another property so let's uh, let's say i want to add another property private uh, int integer age just I, I just added one property age okay so now you can see there is a statement generated alter table employee so what is happening there is a sql statement is generated alter table employee alter in the sense so i have modified my entity uh, i have added a new column right so, yeah, private, private integer age age column i have added in entity class so the moment application dot properties ddl auto uh, specify with update value so it will what it will do it will always update update the employee table if is there any uh, before uh, update if is there any changes in your entity so it will always update the those uh, details in your database now go and check whether it is really updated or not so before updating you can see we have only id mobile number email and first name and last name right we have only one two three four five columns we don't have age column now just uh, refresh the re refresh your table you can see rightly here you can see refresh button uh, i'm highlighting there is a refresh button here just click on that see the moment you click on the refresh button you can see age column is added into your existing table right so it is created sql it is generated sql statement alter table employee and it is added the column in user so alter alter sql statement is generated so what does it mean update ddl auto update always update the schema you got the point right so now let's talk about create drop so and and one more thing i want to show you update so sir what will happen so uh, during the create value it is uh, removing the data also right so, uh, so but update will not remove the data so i want to prove that so let me go to rest clients so as of now you don't have any data you can see just refresh the your table there is no data available right so age uh, age getters and setters i have not added but this will always uh, insert with null values okay so let me remove that age property and save that uh, file so server is restarted and then i just uh, clear the console and then check you just refresh see it is not uh, deleting anything so it uh, whenever you are adding new uh, table then it will just update existing table it will always whenever you are adding new property it is trying to update only so now what i will do i will stop that i will stop the server also i stop the server and then let me clear the console so application dot properties is having update value now i'm starting the server open the console now yeah server started successfully there is no error all, error in the console just refresh the table so it will not uh, creating the table right so what update is performing it will always update your existing table if there are any updates present what it will do whenever you are adding any new columns in your entity so it will just update that uh, add that new columns uh, you got the point right so it will not create that table it will always update if is there any any changes in your entity class so now let me uh, send the request i am trying to insert the employee yeah employee is inserted successfully you can see employee is inserted so now go and check in your database 
so one record is inserted right so age is null because age getters and setters i have not created and age property i have removed so that's the reason it is having null uh, so you just concentrate on a concept so now i have added a, a new record in database right so now stop the server so you can see in background uh, select query is generated, select query where ID. So now inserted. So earlier we have inserted the data, right? So by uh, once we inserted the data in background, JPA is created the insert query. So this is belongs to that one. So previously we have inserted the data, right? So background JPA is created insert statement. So now what I'm trying to do, we are going to check uh, update value, DDL auto value. So I stop the server. So before that, you can see we have a data available in our table. I just stop the server with uh, DDL auto value update. So now start the server. So why why I'm doing this? So you can you can confirm that update will not perform any it will not uh, delete the data from the database. So you can see Tomcat server started successfully. Now go to your object uh, so, uh, SQL client. So let's just uh, refresh. See, you did not lose the data. So your data remains the same. So you got the point, right? So update, always update the schema. It will not remove the data and it will not uh, uh, remove the table. It will always try to update the existing table. If is there any changes available okay so now let's talk about create type and drop so what does it mean that the database schema will be dropped and created so this will do uh, it will drop and create again so let me so actually in background it will happen there is a sql session factory is there so sql session factory if it is uh, terminated by the session so that time what will happen so your existing table will be deleted so what that is the meaning of this create type and drop that will happen internally so now the database schema will be dropped and created so now let me stop the server and we'll check that future as well so let me change the value as instead of update create hyphen drop Okay, so now start the server. See, you can see SQL statement is generated. It is drop table if exist and then create the new table. Now you got, you got the point, right? So now earlier we have a data in the database. Now, if I refresh the object repository, so now you can see uh, the table just a refresh. See, you got, you lost the data. So that is the meaning of create a drop. So none, none in the sense. So now let me stop the server again and Clear the console. I am declaring DDL on auto as none. So before none, I want to delete actually. So you can check right whether table is created or not. So I want to delete the table. So you you no need to delete. Just give that. Uh, just start the server. Just start the server. So none in the sense. Uh, it will not delete the table from the database. So now refresh. Still your table is available, right? So if we, uh, let me drop. If you if you declare it as a drop, your table will be deleted from the database. You can see. So now let me check whether it is. I think. Uh, let me right click and refresh object repository. So you can see there is no table available. You can see right. So right click and refresh. So there is no table available because uh, I have given a DDL property as drop. So now I am going to 
give it as none i want to test this none in the means so see server is restarted again so you can see it will at the moment you specify none the, by default ddl auto statement uh, value will be none only so even if you declare manually so open your uh, sql log right click and uh, refresh the object browser and then check there is no table created so the moment you declare your uh, ddl auto as none it, uh, your table is not going to create in database this is the pro uh, this is the property by this is the value by default ddl auto will be the default what is the default value of ddl auto none so you have got right so what are each and every value you got to know each and uh, every value what all the operations it is performing in database so that is the main importance of ddl life and auto so if you think if you discuss generally in real time environment so no one will uh, use this property actually so because in production generally this property is not going to use because uh, you will have hundreds of tables uh, in a real time environment actually so if you perform if you enable this uh, by mistake if you enable any operation with this property your production data or your database data whichever is there it will uh, create some problem right so generally in production environment this is not going to use so only based on your requirement then only they will use it very rare actually so this uh, most of the people this property is used by uh, uh, there is a, some auto generation tools are there in uh, market actually so uh, you can generate the code uh, dynamically uh, right so, uh, auto generated tools are there in uh, market auto generation auto code generation tools are there so those kind of uh, tools only is going to use this properties okay so you just need to have some knowledge on these properties because some people will uh, have uh, whenever you are attending interviews so many people will ask what your ddl auto will perform and can you explain me each and every value so that you can easily answer now right so and also uh, we have learned the uh, another property what does it what does the what is the meaning of this property so whatever uh, sql statements uh, generated by jpa so you can format that sql in the console you can that will be in the uh, generated sql will be readable format okay guys so now let me get into jpa rest api let me talk about rest api now so so now we are going to insert the data right so let me create the table okay so as of now i will give update property now we are going to test our application whatever apis we have created with jp and repository update so i am giving it as a update so what update will do update always create the table in database so since there is a no table in database it is created so now go and open and check there is a table available right so now refresh the object border as of now there is no data so let me insert the data so now what will happen so there is a one id i am giving it as a id employee id one i am trying to insert let me insert the employee one so employee is inserted successfully we got successful response then you can go and check your sql table uh, see uh, record is inserted so now i don't want to send this id i don't want to send this id okay what i what it will happen let's see now so next time i'm deleting this id and sending the request get the check the response see we got internal server error so the moment you did not send that id id is a primary key in database table right so you can see open and table so this is a primary key id is a primary key how do you know it is a primary key we have declared uh, in employee table entity we have declared our id as a at the rate id the moment you declared your uh, property as the property which at the rate id so this will become your uh, primary key of your table right so now what i'm trying to do 
without id i am trying to insert the data without id primary key i am trying to insert the data so jpi is throwing exception now what is the exception it is clearly send the response also you can read it so if you go right hand side see very big exception so let me copy this uh, message the response message so i want to show you in detail open the notepad plus plus paste so it is clearly saying see ID for this class must be manually assigned. So what is it trying to do in background? It is trying to insert the data. How it is trying to insert the data? See, see JPA system throws exception. JPA system throws exception while executing this save method. It is the save method is thrown exception because yeah, your primary key ID, you are not passing your primary key ID. So IDs for this class must be manu manually assigned because primary key will be a not null field in database. So primary key is mandatory to send the request, right? So now again, so here whatever uh, in console exception, can write same exception, same exception you can see here, okay? So the response which we got, uh, the same response we got from the server. So now what I will do, will clear the console and then this time i will try to create the table again so i will pass that id primary key id so oh this is post request right so let me uh 404 post request and now you can see so now without id you, once you send the request, you got the internal error because it is expecting primary key. So now I will add that ID. And I will pass one. Now one or two. So let me open the database. How many records are there? As of now, already one already present. So now if you send the request, we'll see now what will happen. Let me clear the console. send the request check the console select query is only generated it is not inserted it is not updated because there is no changes in database save method will perform update operation as well okay so now let me send it to if i employ number two it, uh, if i send then data your uh, data is being inserted you can see insert into because there is a primary key change so it is inserted new record in database so what does it mean so if you go to your repository jpa repository this save method will perform let me come down so so we are trying to insert the record right so go to your repository class open your uh, employee repository and uh, employees uh, let me open control shift r employee repository dot java so implementation where we have created service class uh, sorry here in service class service implementation class we are saving the employee right you can see we are saving the employees this red color is came because there is exception right so save method is whenever you are trying to insert same record for example open the database table and refresh so now we have two records right two records we have so let me uh, send same request. So, uh, employee two is having Sachin, Tendulkar, and mobile number and Sachin. So, if you open the database, same data is there. Sachin at gmail.com, Sachin, Tendulkar, and employee number. So, let me clear the console. Now, I want to show you save method will do update operations. If you send, so nothing is generated in the console. You can see only select query. So, it is not. Uh, updated and created so whenever there is no changes available save method always will perform update operation so now let me uh, change the value so employee number two i want to change such in one okay you can see in database uh, uh, record employee number two what is the first name Sachin, right so now i just wanted to change it as a Sachin one so and i am sending employee number 2 send the request 
So if you come down, so we got success response. So see, it is updated. So same record, we are still creating. So what does it mean? This save method will perform insert or update operation. If table is present, it will try to update. If table is not present, it will insert new record. Got it, sorry, got it right. If record already present in database, it will update that record. If record is not present, then it will insert new record. So save method will perform two operations. Save method is available uh, as part of repository, uh, as part of repository class. So this is the this is the GPA repository. Go inside that. So it will have a lot of methods, save and save all and delete. So a lot of methods are there. So those methods find one, find by ID. So save method will perform, uh, insert the data or updating the data. Okay, so now here we're talking about uh, primary key, right? So now I want to generate this primary key. I don't want to send that primary key every time. So let me send, uh, let me remove and send the request. So what is happening? It is throwing exception. So I want to generate this ID by JPA. I want to generate this ID by JPA. I don't want to generate this ID. So what will happen? I don't want to send as part of request as well. So without ID, if you send, we are getting exception because since primary uh, ID is a primary key, uh, uh, so without primary key value, we can't insert the data. So that's the reason we got the 500. Now that ID, I want to auto generate. How we can auto generate? So in employee table, there is a annotation called generated value, Jakarta API. You can see Jakarta persistence. So it has generated value. You can check the description also. Provides specification of generation strategies values for primary keys. You can see here. Provides the specification of generation strategies strategies for the values of primary key. So now I have declared it as a ID, right? So you can see the generated value annotation may be applied to a primary key property or field of entity, right? So now it will generate the value. So now what I will do? Let me. Send the request now. Now I will not pass ID. So let me open and refresh. So currently we have two records. Currently we have two records. Now I am going to send the record, uh, send the request without ID, primary key. You can see uh, why I could not execute statement duplicate entry. Yeah, so uh, why because so we already having one and two, right? It is trying to insert again one and two by default because we have enabled at the rate generated value, right? So now what I will do, I will as of now I will delete this table, both the records I will delete to testing purpose. So I have deleted the record from the database. Now there is no records available, clear the console. And now I am not passing the ID. Now do, before sending the request, I am, I am not passing the primary key. Now send the request. See, you got the success response. Two is generated. So now go there, that uh, primary key is inserted by uh, generated value. JPA, right? We have specified with at the rate generated value. So we no need to bother about primary keys. Hibernate will, will generate primary keys for us. Okay, so now let me send one more request with the same data without passing ID. If you say one, two, three, four, I send many requests. Now go and open your database. See, two, three, four, five, six. It is generated, uh, it is inserting new record. If you did not send the primary key while sending the request, if you did not send the primary key, it will always insert the new record in database. And that primary key is generated by JPA. Okay, so it has many strategies actually. So now what I will do, I will stop the server. We'll see what will happen. I will stop the server. And uh, 
uh, what is the property update so update in the sense we, we are not going to lose lose the data if you restart the server so how many records are there now as of now two three four five six so to, uh, till six records we have right so now five so five records we have so sixth record you can see we have only last record is sixth record so now let me start the server what that generated value will do now you can get to know what is uh, generated value will perform so now our server is started successfully and restarted successfully so now uh, what is the last uh, primary key six now i am trying to insert the data without primary key again i just send the request so we got the success response you can see id is generated 50 to you have to observe guys you have to understand the concept see it is generated 52 not 7 there is no sequential order so what does it mean at the rate generated value internally uses auto strategy type so there is a set of strategies type in uh, hibernate so the generated value there is a auto generation type primary key generation type there is a auto property so if you don't specify any strategy as part of generated value so whenever you restart the server so the primary key will not in sequential order so it will auto generate it will auto generate see now it is 52 right so now if i stop the server it will auto generate so you cannot uh, uh, rely on that so what, what kind of primary key it is going to generate in database i stop the server again so let me start the server these are all in-depth concept you have to learn guys if you learn it is very good actually okay i am teaching you in very in depth so now uh, go to your database so how many records you have so 52 52 primary key employee 52 is available in database now i just restarted the server now i want to insert one more record so let me insert the record again so again record is inserted if you observe see what is the id now 102 so you cannot rely on the primary key which is generated it is not generating in sequential order because generate at the rate generated value by default if you not provide any strategy to that uh, generated value it will always generate random number whenever your server restarted so uh, next time again if you try it will generate another number so this is how auto generate will work auto strategy type so it, how many types it has so let me open the documents i will share this document guys you can go through it so here i will explain you tomorrow remaining uh, what is the meaning of auto and table sequential and i you can see why at the rate generated value i have clearly mentioned here we are talking about at the rate generated value so what does it mean by making the id field with generation value we are now enabling id generation so which means that persistence layer will generate an id value for us and handle the auto increment so we no need to send the along with uh, whenever you are trying to insert the employee you no need to pass primary key so employee number you no need to pass it will auto generate with the help of at the rate generated annotation so next so the primary key value uh, it, uh, by default this at the rate generated value what is the strategy type by default it will be auto what is the default one this one is the art default one actually default so our application can choose one of five generation strategies what are those auto table sequence identity and uid so if you strategy value if you type open bracket and close bracket just control space put cursor inside that and control space you can see generation there is a strategy strategy attribute is available just click on that strategy after that again control space if you see set of available how many strategies are there auto identity sequence table uuid 
total five number of uh, strategy types are there. So those five numbers I have uh, specified in the documents. So I will explain you these uh, five strategies tomorrow, guys. Okay, so make sure you are learning all the concept in depth, guys. From here, each and every class will be most important and it will be interesting also if you concentrate every day, okay? So I will explain you tomorrow, guys, remaining uh, strat strategy types. Thank you, guys. We'll connect tomorrow. I will share you this document, okay?